Okay, so I got up this morning watching on YouTube and saw this crap. Oh boy, and I had to go watch it. So for those of you that don't know what we're about to watch, apparently Toonami went woke and then just called all of their fans who didn't agree with the message they were pushing, which is a BLM talking point, let's be frank. Uh, it's plagiarized from some BLM handbook somewhere. They decided, hey, you know what, we're going to go woke, and if y'all don't like us going woke, you're all racists. Okay, uh, we did this with video games at Gamergate. We did this with comic books in Gamergate or in, in Comicsgate, and now apparently Toonami saw all of this and said, "Hold my fucking beer." Tom's gonna take the ship and just ram it into the ground. So here we go. There's been a lot of talk about race lately. I don't see color. Racism isn't real anymore. All lives matter. These words are actually harmful. Okay, for those who don't know, All Lives Matter is kind of like a litmus test. Okay, some, some guys on 4chan come up with the idea. Um, it's kind of like saying Islam was right about women. It's a catch-22 kind of thing. All right, if you sit back and you get angry at All Lives Matter, you're exposing yourself as a racial supremacist to an extent. The left don't understand this. And they think it's some sort of dog whistle from racists. It's actually not. It's actually an, an expository statement. So if you go in there and you say, well, you say, well, all lives matter. And someone says, well, well, I think black lives should matter. Well, you only think that black lives matter. You don't care about Jewish lives. You don't care about Asian lives. You don't care about Hispanic lives. I mean, do you see where this goes? <laughs> it gets it gets really stupid really fast. It's not harmful to anyone. It's harmful to the movement. Because honestly, all BLM has to do is say, yes, all lives matter, especially black lives right now. Or they can say, all lives do matter. We know this includes black lives. They could just jump in and co-op the, the message. And make themselves look good. Instead, they don't do this. They get mad. They call it a racist dog whistle and everything, and, and all other sorts of bullcrap. But let's see Toonami berate their fans and tell them how racist they are. Because uh, now, my, mind you, Tom has done said, if you say you don't see color, in other words, you don't judge people based on their skin. You judge them based on what they do, how they treat you, how they act. Okay, you're, you're, you're not looking and saying, oh, that's a black guy. He must be bad. Oh, that's a white dude. He must be good. You're saying, you know, this black guy, this guy over here, he's really good. He just happens to be black. This guy over here is a dirt bag. He just happens to be white. I know some white guys that are good. I know some black guys that are bad and vice versa. That, that's all that is saying when you say you don't see color, because what you're saying is you are specifically intentionally not making their color a factor in judging who they are and judging their worth. You are judging their worth based on something other than color, something that they can control, not something that someone can't control. But the fans are racist because they do this, okay? Can't do that. But let's go on. Steer away from the bigger issue. Racism still exists. Discrimination. Yep. And it's on to Nami. Tom is a flaming racist now who tells you that when you go out there and judge a person based on, like I said before, you judge a person based on what they can control, not on what they can't control. That makes you racist. That's pretty fucking stupid. This is the classic argument from race from uh, race peddlers. 
And he, uh, it basically comes down to, I think it was Al Sharpton or Jesse Jackson said this. They said, if you sit back and say you're not a racist, then you are absolutely a racist. Okay. If you're not, a, if you say you're not a racist, then you're absolutely a racist. Um, guess what, fans? It, you can't claim you're not a racist. You can't treat people with respect. You can't sit there and say you worry about all lives equally. Uh, that makes you racist. For some reason, we want you to watch Tsunami now. Open your eyes and let go of the hate. We see the truth. If you're thinking, this isn't why I watched Tsunami, think again. Yeah, I haven't watched Tsunami in years. Because back in the early 90s when Tsunami came out, they had good shit. They had some really good anime. And I mean, it was the stuff, it was like Inuyasha, Samurai X, all that good stuff. All the really hard-hitting, violent anime. And it was it was considered, you know, Toonami come on late night. And it was supposed to be, oh, you know, it's Adult Swim. It's supposed to be anime for adults. To an extent, that was true. But I still watched it when I was a kid. And I got exposed to some really cool anime back then. Then Toonami started pulling out. All the weird anime. Like, they'd have one good anime, and then they'd have some weird stuff sprinkled in. Used to, Toonami was exclusively anime, and that was it. Then Toonami started sprinkling in Western cartoons. And I hate a lot of current Western cartoons. I hate a lot of Western cartoons. There are some good children's shows out there that are better than most of the Western cartoons that we're getting nowadays. Okay, Spongebob was the highest tier for Western cartoons. Spongebob. In the 2000s. That is that is the top tier cartoon you can get now. That is the best animated show on television right now is Spongebob. And I say that because Spongebob is barely ever, ever political. That's what Toonami has fallen to. The only thing good on Toonami is anime, okay? But they still want to push their own crap onto you. And it, no, nobody wants to watch it. It's just like in Cartoon Network. I don't want to watch OKKO. OK I don't want to watch Steven Universe. Those are trash shows. Okay? My kid asked to watch them. I watch my show. I watch her kids. I watch her shows first. If I don't think, if I think it's politically wrong for my kid to watch it, I'm not going to let her watch it. I tell her it's not a good show. She doesn't watch it because I'm not allowing my kid to be propagandized. You'll either give my kid both sides of the story, both sides of the argument, or you will just not be shown to my kid, period. But we have this here. You know, it's, it's hilarious because they're talking about anime. And Japan is one of those countries that does not like this baizu nonsense that's going on. All right, this, oh, we're concerned about all oh, this racism. We're going to be offended on these people's behalf. Uh, there's a reason now why, why, why Asian people are considered white, because Asian people refuse to bend over and become slaves to the race baiters. Okay? The party of segregation, the party that supported Jim Crow, the party that supported racism throughout our country's history, the party that was who fashioned the southern states and supported slavery, mind you, is the very same party that's pushing this racist bullshit now. And their entire message, this is the gist of the left's message when it comes to racism. Blacks and Hispanics are inferior, so they've got to let us white people do everything for them. Like they're babies. If that doesn't insult you, I don't know what will. Okay? Being told that you're incapable because of your own race. And that someone else has to come along and help you out. But this is Toonami. Hey, man, let's go, let's go woke. Let's go woke. Because Toonami apparently has decided to go fucking woke now. See, this is the stupid part. Because if you look at what's going on about this nonsense now, there is no conversation. You look at the riots in the streets. 
You look at the horrible shit that's going on right now. There, there is no conversation going on. It is, you will, you, and, and I mean, here's the thing. Tom, when, when this whole tsunami thing started, Tom didn't ask anyone for their opinion. He blatantly went out there, told everyone, look, if you believe this way, you are wrong. There was no conversation to be had. There's just an accusation of racism and you need to change. And maybe Toonami, and when he says, uh, this is, if you say this isn't why I watch Toonami, it's basically the same thing in comic books when all when the Milkshake Club comes out there, Heather Antos and all of them said, we well, you know these comics aren't made for you. I wonder what Japan would say if they found out that Toonami is saying that anime is not made for certain people. Because I'm quite certain the Japanese are probably looking at this saying, you are telling customers this. You are telling customers that our product that we have made specifically for them, that they have found, that they enjoy, is not for them. I'll bet you Japan, I'll bet you all the Japanese animation companies would have a field day with this. Oh, I, the only way I would watch Toonami now is if they make Tom commit seppuku. That's the only way I'm watching anime. Uh, I'm watching Toonami. I'm watching anime all day long, but I'm not watching Toonami. Because Black Lives Matter and will always matter. Yeah, Black Lives Matter, but not all. Li- only Black Lives Matter. Okay, although always matter. Well. uh Here's the thing. Why should I join a movement when I'm not black? Because if their lives matter more than mine, that's not equality and I don't want to be a part of it. I want a group that will, if you want me to join a group, that group has got to treat me with with the equal amount of protection, with the equal amount of friendliness, with the equal amount of respect that you would treat the other group. And Black Lives Matter, this is the thing that I hate about Black Lives Matter. It's a divisive context. It's a divisive saying. Because it's saying only one person. Let me me, me throw a new one at you. German Lives Matter. Just think about how bad that sounds. If you go back to World War II and see swastikas and Hitler doing the salute and people calling him the Fuhrer, yeah, that's about how bad BLM is. This is why I don't support the movement. Because it's the same bullshit that was in Nazi Germany. Okay? We care about one group of people, and this other group of people is the bane of our existence. Therefore, we've got to oppress them to make ourselves better. We've got to tear this group of people down, regardless of the fact that most of these people are wealthy because they've got years, if not centuries or millennia of experience. A lot of people don't realize most of the Jews that were wealthy, a lot of them were stonecutters. They had skills that they had learned from ancient Egypt when the Hebrew children had been slaves. That's that's how long it was. Back when the pharaohs were running the world. That's that's how many generations of stone cutters they had gone through. They brought back techniques. They had techniques from Egypt that they developed. And the Germans went in there and said they got that stuff wrongfully. It wasn't that they got it wrongfully. They had techniques from ancient times and had been guardians of those secrets for generations of millennia. And the Nazis stupidly went in there and tore everything apart. But that is the BLM message. It is... I don't even want to call it New Age Nazism. It is BLM is basically repurposed Nazism. It's just in this time, instead of saying that a minority is the person you should oppress, they're now trying to say the minorities, they're trying to say we're oppressing people in the name of minorities. Mind you, a lot of people don't realize Hitler went to power and went after the Jews because they were a scapegoat. When he first attempted to take power, he didn't say anything about the Jews. He wasn't actually talking about them. He merely st- he was angry at what the UN had do- at what the Allies had done to Germany, and he wanted to take control. He wanted to implement socialism. He couldn't do it the first time. He attempted to do it through violent revolution, and he got jailed for it. 
Then the second time he comes out and he writes Mein Kampf while he's in there and he figures out real quick, I need, I need to take control of the system. I don't need to tear it down. I just need to take control of it. I need to take helm of it. And so he uses the Jews as a scapegoat to get himself into power. Same shit going on now. Look at who the BLM wants to get rid of. They claim they're in power. If, if you honestly believe in white privilege, go down to a trailer park and find the white privilege. Honestly. I, I don't understand people who think like this. But apparently, Tanami thinks all their fans are racist who don't agree with their rhetoric. They think their fans are... Uh, God knows what else. It's probably like the Anita Sarkeesian thing, you know? Everything is sexist, everything is racist, everything is homophobic, and they're here to point it all out. Well, fuck you, Toonami. This, ladies and gentlemen, is how Toonami dies. It dies on its knees, sucking socialist dick. Anyway, I'm the last raider. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell for notification if you're new to the channel. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye now.